Hey everybody, Panda here, here to bring you late fairy tale chapter, and pretty weird this one, how this one sort of ended off. Um, basically, Ro came from the future, we established that from last chapter, and he's saying, you know, I came from the future where the, you know, humanity has only got 10% left, like, dragons rule it, and everything's just messed up, and, you know, what happened was Eclipse, um was open and it can be used in two ways it can take you through either the past or the future or it can be used as a cannon the eclipse cannon where have i heard that from before the eclipse cannon oh wait a minute it's sonic <laughs> it's like it reminds me of freaking sonic the hedgehog that bit and it can take out the dragons and then natsu was like oh well let's use drag like use that but apparently something happened at the same time where somebody closed the door um to eclipse so I don't know what was happening. They like closed it, and it was pretty weird. Um, to be honest, how that happened, it was like, and he started blaming Lucy for this. He like literally came out of nowhere, and just hit her. And the future one came out and just took the hit, and saying, you know, sorry, I couldn't um do this. You know, if 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 you die, then so I I would as well. So you know, it's it's sort of like the only thing she could do. And, you know, saying, you know, it's all Lucy's thought, I'll blame it on her. And I'm not surprised Lucy would be involved with this. Like, this is what would happen to her. She seems to like, always get, like, the attention this way. Um, and, not, like, Happy was sad. Everyone was, like, so sad and crying. And she actually died. I hope this doesn't count as one of the deaths in Fairy Tale. You know, one of the future Lucy, you know, because she only recently appeared. I don't think that counts as one. But maybe this is like starting to lead to somewhere because it got like Natsu just punched this guy and he's saying, you know, as she said, die saying, you know, protect our future. And she, Natsu was like crying one eye, he's like seriously saying, I will protect our future. And that's how the chapter ends. And I was like, things are now about to get heated up. If like Natsu is going to be seven like years older, like, um, Rogue, like we don't know how much of magic has advanced through that time. I mean, we've seen it through like Fairy Tale Go already through like a seven year time skip. So what's another seven years to them kicking the shit out of Rogue? Um But overall the chapter was really good, like Fairy Tale has been picking up a lot. Um even like even though people like suddenly just now stop the hating on it it's like oh so now fairy tales are getting good and i've noticed a few people are slightly saying being careful with what their words now i know it's a few reviews and they find it's like suddenly riding back on the fairy tale train wave after like dissing it so much but that's their issue but let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it because i thought this was actually you know a good chapter um sorry it's a quite a short one but i just wanted to get over and done with because since you know i'm last one to be done and you know everyone just you know freaking done their reviews already and i feel a bit stupid doing it last but there we go but that's all from me everyone so thank you very much for watching as always remember strut like a panda sound out and i'll see you next time people